Hello and welcome to Newsmax TV. I'm John Bachman. We're here in Washington, D.C. and we're talking with Dr. Elveda King, the niece of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Thank you very much for being with us today. It's a pleasure talking with you. I greatly enjoy the opportunity. Thank you, John. Well, it's our pleasure to speak with you. One thing in particular that I wanted to discuss with you is uh, the back and forth that's going on right now between black Democrats and black conservatives. Wow. What do you make of, of some of the name calling that's going on? What is so very disturbing in the African American community, period, is exactly that name calling, accusing, labeling, when unity is so desperately needed because our children are suffering, our schools are suffering, uh, women's rights and the rights for babies to be born. There are so many serious issues. The issue of poverty, the destruction of the African American family. There are so many things that we must agree on, and yet we find that, oh, Plantation, Uncle Tom, sellout. These are words, they're very ugly and violent words. And of course, coming from the King family legacy as a niece of Martin Luther King Jr. and my dad, Reverend A.D. King, very nonviolent people. To hear all of this violence in language, man, it's disturbing. There were, you know, there's been division among, and, and disagreement among the African, African American community. If you look back to your uncle and Malcolm X, they oh had a, a lot goodness. of differences. Is it different this time, or is this more of the same, just carried through to a different generation? I will tell you what's absolutely different today. Malcolm X um, was a strong man who said violence, uh, if it's necessary, and he basically said, by any means necessary. Martin Luther King Jr. said nonviolence, and to do this with love. So two totally different philosophies, but two men who greatly respected each other. So there was always respect and no animosity. They even met at one point in the airport briefly, and you could honestly tell that they actually respected each other. And so it's the hateful and violent behavior that's different today that's so very disturbing. And you know, interestingly enough, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, was criticized terribly by uh, preachers in his day, African-American or Negro preachers we were called back in that time. And they were like, you're stirring up things, leave well enough alone, uh, the colored people's relations, you're just making it too difficult but they were never hateful. And so that's what's so disturbing. It's the animosity that's different. And how does this impact your uncle's legacy when you hear uh, people in the media uh, attacking Dr. Carson or t attacking uh, Robert Griffith III, the quarterback of uh, the Washington Redskins? Yeah. What is, you know, how would he react to that type of uh, criticism? My uncle would just encourage us to go back to the foundations of love, agape love, God's kind of love. You know, Martin Luther King Jr. was a preacher. And uh, in the year of two uh, 2013, August 28th, that's going to be uh, 50 years since, since the I Have a Dream speech. And so celebrating that, I have a dream. And basically he said that people would unite and come together. So he would really urge everybody now to stop the name calling, stop hurdling insults at each other and to sit down and find a place of commonality. I know he would. He talked about it. He, my dad, Reverend A.D. King, Daddy King, a beloved community where all human beings, not separate races, human beings could come together and to begin to agree in uh, love and uh, harmony. So it doesn't mean that you all have to think alike necessarily totally agree with each other's platforms, but we absolutely have forgotten agape love. I, I, I really hate to say that, but I believe that is true. You're here meeting with uh, some of the most influential black conservatives uh, in the country right now. Is that, a, is that on the top of the priority? How do you combat uh, these, and I hate to use this term, but other people have used as well, these haters, these people who are um, calling black conservatives Uncle Toms and when worse names. Well, it has been said of Alveda King, don't call Alveda unless you want to talk about love because she doesn't know anything else. And so it's such an honor to sit with the conservative leaders, people of compassion, people of understanding. And I know it's going to be our objective to come back to a point of reason and to no longer continue to fight or insult. As a matter of fact, those who've been invited, none of us have that kind of heart of spirit anyway. We're not attacking and biting and yelling, but uh, we're going to perhaps be able to take this high road to another level where people can be civil, reasonable, 
so that understanding can come, so that true transformation, transformation is higher than change. And we're looking now for trans the transformation of a nation. That's what we're after. Dr. Aveda King, thank you so much for talking to us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV. Thank you.